All right. Good morning, Ephrata. <laughs> We're here with the A Push debate champions. I'm 32nd President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And I'm. Yeah, no, this is wrong. What are you guys doing? Can you. They didn't go with you. Yeah. Just keep reading. Okay. <laughs> we'll go. Just okay. keep reading. Uh, good morning. Uh, <laughs> please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Today, a representative from Clarion University will be here at 1.15. If you are interested in meeting with this representative, please sign up in Naviance or see Mrs. Ditzler in the guidance office. The EHS, the EHS theater program will be looking for members to cover stage crew and some technical board positions. Any students interested in being part of this year's fall production of Romeo and Juliet stage crew should report to the auditorium beginning Monday, November 6th for a brief meeting with Mr. Gonzalez at 4.15 p.m. Plan to stay for about an hour. Those who are interested in learning about the lighting or soundboard positions should stop by Mr. Bischoff's room 318 for more information. All students involved in the fall play must be in good standing and compliance with all academic requirements. Romeo and Juliet performance dates will be November 17th and 18th. Are you a movie buff? Do you enjoy a good story about someone overcoming odds? You know it! Join the Media Center on November 16th immediately after school for a free screening of Underwater Dreams. It's the epic story of how the sons of undocumented Mexican immigrants learned how to build an underwater robot from parts from Home Depot and defeat engineering powerhouse MIT in the process. Talk about adaptability and grit. Refreshments will be provided. On Monday, November 6th, Conestoga Valley High School will be hosting their 44th annual college night from 6 to 8 p.m. There will be over 200 colleges, trade, nursing, technical, and business schools represented. In addition to, to the schools, there will also be seminars on how to choose a college and financial aid. This event is perfect for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors as it's never too early to start planning. Information booklets are available now in the counseling office. Be sure to tell your parents and add this event to your calendar, November 6th, the CV College Fair. If you have any questions, see your counselor ASAP. Now over to 28th President of the United States, Woodrow Wilson, with the news. At least three are dead in the Denver suburb of Thornton after a shooting occurred at a Walmart last night. Two were declared dead on the scene and the third after being rushed to the hospital by emergency services. Police have revoked the shooting's active status, but it is unknown if they have officially taken any suspect into custody. Carl Spudemet, dismissed president of Catalonia, has remained in Belgium instead of appearing in Barcelona to respond to his court summons. It is unknown if he plans to return in time for his hearing. His only comment has been that he plans to, quote, wait and see what happens, end quote. He has not petitioned the Belgian government for asylum. North Korea's central news agency, news agency, has released a statement declaring that they require nuclear weapons in order to, quote, prevent invasion and plunder, end quote, by the United States and its allies. It claims that without a nuclear arsenal, the NATO coalition, along with most of the UN, would invade North Korea and overthrow the Kim regime. It is unknown what prompted the outlandish statement. Today in history, the largest plane ever flown makes its debut in 1947. Called the Spruce Goose, it had a wingspan of 320 feet and was designed by Howard Hughes to be able to carry 700 men into battle. This isn't to be confused with Phineas and Ferb's Paper Pelican, but if you recall, their plane was based on the Spruce Goose. Both planes were pretty fly. Also, Friends star David Schwimmer was born today. He starred as Ross Geller, although his peak performance was as Melman the Giraffe in Madagascar, for being honest. Now over to Mr. Myers with lunch. Today for lunch, we have uh, we have a hot dog on a roll, southern turkey barbecue on a whole grain roll, four meat, count them, four, or four cheese pizza, turkey club slash toast, crispy chicken salad, fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin, sauerkraut, baked beans, coleslaw, tossed salad, fresh broccoli or cucumbers slash dip, applesauce, fresh fruit, or that amazing slushy. Yes! Hey, 
No sports re results, however, the Houston Astros overcame the Los Angeles Dodgers to win the 2017 World Series for the first time in the franchise history. George Springer was awarded the MPV honors for his 11 for 29, 8 runs, 5 dingers, and 7 RBIs performance. Also, Yu Darvish is a major choke artist. Ninth grade boys basketball open gym. If you are planning on trying... Out of here with that. If you're tr tr planning on trying out for the ninth grade boys basketball team, open gym gyms will begin today, Thursday, November 2nd, from 3:15 to 4:30 at the middle school gym. Again, that's ninth grade open gym for those who are trying out this season today, November 2nd, 3:15 to 4:30 at the middle school, not the high school. The junior versus senior powder puff game is Wednesday, November 8th, starting at 7 p.m. at the War. Remember to come on out and cheer on your lady mounts. The rifle team will be holding two open gyms for the, before the season starts. Anyone interested, please meet the coach by the high school main entryway at 6 p.m. today or November 9th. If, you're, if you have any questions, see Mrs. Cummings in the athletic office. There are, no, there are no sports events today. And you know, I personally have never really been much of a sport person, but I recently decided to try out some basketball. So, you know, roll the clip. All right, Ephra, it's your boy, Nate Dog, and I'm here today to show you some sick basketball trick shots, all right? I'm going to go through the shots in order from least epic to most epic, you know? So let's just get this done. All right, so this first shot, you know, this is like your standard basketball shot. It's, it's pretty simple, so, you know, you just, you just throw it. This is the backwards throw shot, I guess you could call it. So this is the dab skip ball shot. All right, so this shot I'm gonna make from behind the hoop. All right, so this is gonna be the bounce shot. Now this might be a little difficult because this ball is kind of lacking air, but I think I can get it done. This is the one-handed overhead throw shot. Now that hoop way over there, that's the one that we're aiming for, and I call this one the long shot. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult, all right, but let's get ourselves a home run. All right, so this is going to be the best shot, the coup de grace of all basketball shots, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ball and I, oh, I've got a text, all right. Hey, Everett off. Would you like to see Senor Cerullo dye his facial hair purple? See. Si. Coach Miller shave, it, shave his entire beard? Yeah. Mrs. Eshelman put a streak of color in her hair? Da. During the month of November, Minithon will be holding their No Shave November fundraiser. Each participating teacher will have a can in their room and a certain amount of money they are trying to raise. If they reach their fundraising goal, they will do something crazy to their hair at the end of November. In order to donate, simply place your money in the Four Diamonds can located in that teacher's room. Remember, all proceeds raised will help fight childhood cancer. STEM Sisters is hosting another free event. On November 16th from 5 to 8, you can get hands-on experience in cardiac sonography, engineering, and radiologic technology labs at Hacks Lancaster campus. Dinner is provided, but you must register. See Mrs. Hull to register or go to the North Museum's website. The school counseling office is holding a contest to look for artwork to feature on the cover of the 2018-2019 course selection guidebook. If you are interested, please download a copy of the information sheet that has been posted in your Schoology newsfeed. The submission deadline is November 22nd, so don't delay. Well, that's it for us, Ephrata. I'm going to go, like, win. Have a know. super patriotic day. Let's go win World War II, guys. Woo! Four terms. <laughs>